Hey guys, it's Shadrach, and once again, I'm coming to you from my co-working space with a mic as well, so hopefully the audio is way better. And uh, in this video, we'll be looking over these pickups that I installed in my parts caster. <laughs> So, if you watched my previous video about this guitar, you would know that I had a set of guitar fitters pickups that I didn't really, you know, gel with in this guitar. And I'm happy to say now that I've found the perfect pickups for me, for my budget, and for this guitar. And, um, you would be surprised where I got these from. <laughs> So, you probably noticed this Fender Free Lessons sticker on this pickguard and it might, you know, clue you in as to where I got this pre-wired pickguard from. If you don't know, uh, this is actually a pre-wired pickguard that I got from the Stratosphere of, off of a Fender Contemporary Squire, a Squire Contemporary, what's the name of that guitar? The Squire Contemporary... Series HH Stratocaster, I think. I think that's correct. But um, yeah, I bought this whole pre wired pick guard off of the Stratosphere. And what the Stratosphere do is that they basically, I, I would assume, buy guitars and they just take them apart and then sell the parts individually. And because of that, I got this whole pick guard, pre wired pick guard for a very good price, around $119 after shipping and tax and whatnot. The best way that I would describe these pickups is normal. I know that's not a very, that's not usually a very good term, I guess, but in this case, these pickups compared to the pickups that I had before are normal in the best way possible. They don't interfere. I believe, I assume they're very flat in terms of the EQ response. Or they just have regular, you know, e EQ responses, but they are normal in the best way. Uh, especially considering the, the pickups that I had in here before, you know, the two single coils were weak and not very, they just didn't do anything for me. And the bridge pickup was way too muddy and way too overpowered. But with these pickups, they're just normal in the best way. The neck pickup is a neck pickup, and it does what a neck pickup does. It's not too muddy, especially on this guitar with a shorter scale length, a Gibson scale length, and it just does. It just 
it just does what it does, you know? And the bridge pickup is, uh, it's aggressive, it can be aggressive, but it's not overpowering. And it also does a great job. It just sounds good, you know? That's the best way I can explain it. I don't know that much about pickups, but if you're just looking for a set of pickups or individual pickups that are a step up from what you had before, but you know, you don't want anything too expensive, I would definitely recommend these pickups. So more about the actual pre-wired pick guard. So as you could probably tell, it's just a three-way switch, you know, neck, middle, and bridge. I really do wish that that the middle option had like coil typing or like anything like that. Unfortunately, this guitar doesn't have that or this pick guard doesn't have that. But um, the only thing that I would really want in this pick guard is a coil split option in the middle position so I could get those, you know, out of phase, you know, single coil, telecaster kind of tones. But it is what it is, and regardless, the middle position sounds fantastic. Besides that, um, it's just one volume, one tone, and if I were playing live shows again, it would be great to have this volume, um, have a, uh, what do you call it, have a treble bleed, but because I'm not really playing live, I've just been recording music on my own, um, this guitar is great as it is, besides the uh, un- coil, splittable, tappable, whatever, um, you know, lack of options. But um, yeah, this guitar is, these pickups are great for what they are and I definitely recommend them to anybody um, who wants to have a cheap upgrade to their current parts caster, stratocaster, whatever, whatever it may be. As for other modifications, to this guitar. Um, as it is, it's my, I wouldn't say it's my dream guitar, but it's definitely a guitar that I love. I love it the way it is, and it's definitely what I consider my main guitar. Um, the uh, only thing that I'm thinking about doing in the future is actually replacing this bridge with an Evertune bridge just because unfortunately with the Gibson scale length things can get a bit loose and then go out of tune and whatnot but besides that this guitar is great as it is. Alright, thank you guys for watching this video up until now. Uh, I will of course be featuring this guitar in uh, other videos as well. But for now, thank you for watching the newest evolution to this guitar. And I'm really happy with these pickups, I really am. Uh, if you want to watch more of my videos, please like and subscribe. And uh, have a great day. I've been Shadrach.